With airline stocks having been crushed during the recent pandemic, which companies provide the best outlook moving forward now that the economy is at least somewhat stable? In today's video, we'll be exploring the two best airline stocks as well as potentially the worst choice that you will want to stay clear from. Airline stocks used to be avoided by both value and income investors alike, and for good reason. Airlines are highly vulnerable during recessions. They're also vulnerable to industry-specific forces that can erase profits for several years or even drive some airlines out of business entirely. That's why legendary value investor Warren Buffett had for many years avoided airlines and advised investors to do the same. However, thanks to a series of bankruptcies and mergers, the airline industry has consolidated. As a result, the four major U.S. airlines, American, Delta, United, and Southwest, now have roughly an 80% market share. And for better or for worse, the government views travel as an essential part of a functioning economy, and thus has changed the rules or provided temporary relief funds to the airline companies during times of crisis. While I certainly have my own personal opinion of companies that are, quote, too big to fail, it does provide some assurances to individuals looking to invest in these type of companies. Given these challenges, are any airline stocks worth investing in? As you can clearly see, the majority of airline stocks are currently trading at roughly half price or even less than what they were trading for before the pandemic, leaving plenty of room to grow. While the economy is still somewhat uncertain, many metrics are returning to normal. As you can clearly see, the total number of passengers going through TSA checkpoints is back to pre-pandemic levels with over 2 million daily passengers. Additionally, crude oil prices, while still relatively high, are quickly decreasing in cost back towards the historical average cost. This is important as fuel expenses are typically one of the largest debt incurred by airlines, and a reduction in prices will certainly help future revenue. Lastly, the number of full-time employees in the aviation industry dropped to historic lows in 2020 in an effort to cut costs. However, we can clearly see a dramatic spike as airlines look to rehire these lost employees and bolster their workforce. All good signs that the airline industry believes the worst is clearly behind us. Given these favorable factors and a relatively cheap stock prices as compared to 2019, this could make now a favorable time to invest in the aviation industry. So which airline companies am I currently buying? Well, my second favorite airline stock right now belongs to United Airlines. With a higher percentage of its overall revenue coming from international exposure, United did recover a little bit slower than some of its peers as we exited the pandemic. Notably, United was forced to slash 95% of its international flights during the pandemic due to a near-complete collapse in demand. However, United is resilient and total revenue per available seat mile is currently 17% higher than it was during the pre-pandemic levels. While United does have moderate debt levels, much of the debt was used to purchase 270 new aircraft to replace some of its aging fleet. These new aircraft are critical for two reasons. First, they're simply able to carry more passengers, which is critical as they will be used in several busy airports such as San Francisco, California, Newark, New Jersey, and others, where limited runways prevent airlines from simply adding more flights due to congestion issues of the relatively small airport. In addition, these new aircraft will not only reduce overall maintenance costs, but the aircraft are also some of the most fuel-efficient options available, and should utilize between 15 to 20% less overall fuel, a dramatic savings for the company. In addition, United is actively pursuing eco-friendly fuel alternatives, having operated the world's first passenger flight to use 100% sustainable biofuel. It is also partnering with Archer Aviation to develop solar-powered options for select regional flights. Based on its increased capacity and reduction in future costs due to newer aircraft, United is poised to be a contender for many years to come. Currently trading around half its pre-pandemic value, sitting at $50 per share, United currently trades at a P.E. ratio of 22.5. Now, just as important as it is to know which airline stocks to invest in, it's also important to know which ones you should stay away from. And the dubious distinction of the worst airline stock for 2023 belongs to none other than American Airlines. Having emerged from Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2011, American Airlines has been chronically faced with an overwhelming debt load. 
The airline has the highest debt to assets ratio in the industry, clocking in at a whopping 114%, making it the only airline with negative equity and owes a total of over $62 billion, which is nearly six times the market cap of the entire stock. The airline has posted three consecutive yearly losses as opposed to other airlines who have already returned to being profitable. To make matters worse, rising interest rates could soon prove to be insurmountable given its high debt load. And the cherry on top is that American Airlines does not hedge its fuel costs, making it much more prone to price fluctuations than its peers. While heavy debt loads and leverage can be beneficial during an economic boom cycle, Given the uncertain nature of the current economic situation, I wouldn't touch American Airlines with someone else's 10-foot pole. And now the moment of truth, my current favorite airline stock. Coming in at number one on the list is budget-friendly Southwest Airlines. Southwest is the second largest U.S. carrier based on market cap with routes primarily in the United States, but does service 10 international countries. Southwest recorded fourth quarter revenues of $6.2 billion, which was a 7.7% increase over 2019 results prior to the onset of the pandemic. Southwest also stands out in the sector as it was the only airline that posted positive free cash flow every single year in the decade leading up to the pandemic. But it wasn't just a lucky streak. In fact, Southwest was profitable for 47 consecutive years leading up to 2020. That is a mind-blowing statistic for a roller coaster industry such as the airline business. This is largely due to the fact that it has by far and away the lowest overall debt load of any airline company. Competitors such as Delta and United Airlines have debt loads that are over 10 times higher than the relative debt load of Southwest. At a price point of $33.50 per share, Southwest enjoys a 2.14% dividend, which is noteworthy as Southwest was the first airline to reintroduce a dividend after other airlines suspended payouts during the pandemic. Trading only 20% higher than its lowest point during the pandemic, Southwest is still trading only at roughly half of its pre-pandemic glory, giving it plenty of runway room. No pun intended. So there you have it, some of the best and worst airline stocks right now. If you have a particular favorite, be sure to comment down below what makes your choice so special. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe for more investing videos like this. And as always, I'll see you all again next time. Thanks.